Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. DJI sues the Department of Defense. We have a CNN drone that injures three people. And lastly, Brink releases The Guardian. Let's get to it. And first up, DJI is suing the Department of Defense for what it claims are multiple violations of the Administrative Procedures Act and then also the Fifth Amendment violation. The lawsuit claims that DJI was incorrectly classified as a Chinese military company, or CMC, and added to the DoD CMC list, which resulted in terminated contracts, clients' reluctance to enter into new agreements, a tarnished reputation, and exclusion from contracting opportunities. Uh, DJI is seeking monetary compensation for the cost of the suit, the removal also from the DOD CMC list, and then stopping all elements of the DOD from taking action based on the CMC list designation. Now, we've got a full video on the lawsuit coming out soon uh, because, quite frankly, uh, this lawsuit just uh, released a ton of information that I think is very damning. So uh, stay tuned for more in-depth discussion. Next up, a CNN drone crashed into a crowd causing multiple injuries. Uh, the specifics are unclear, especially what drone was being used, but uh, DroneXL reported that one person uh, suffered multiple laceration to their finger, one person was hit in the head, and then the third person had to be transported via stretcher from the scene. Uh, no word, like I said, on what the drone was being flown, but it reportedly uh, struck a light pole while attempting to navigate between trees. And then after striking the light pole, the drone then fell into the crowd. And we'll keep you updated as we hear more from this, but there definitely needs to be more information. I'm sure there will be an NTSB investigation as well as an NTSB report. And last up, Brink has released The Guardian for public safety. Uh, the Guardian is their new drone. It comes with a 42-minute flight time, obstacle avoidance, 40x hybrid zoom, a 640 thermal camera, night vision, 4G compatibility, two-way audio communication, a built-in emergency light and sirens, a built-in loudspeaker, geofencing capabilities, integrated radar, and ADS-BN. Uh, I think this might be the first non-DJI drone that I see with ADS-BN capabilities, which I think is a great, great functionality. Uh, it is being released now. The drone doesn't appear to be on sale just yet, uh, with deliveries beginning in mid-2025. Now, hopefully, we'll get a chance to test one of those and share our thoughts. A quick reminder, voting is open for the October Drone Photo Contest. Photos were submitted through the community site for the theme of Spooky. So take a minute to check out the creative photos and vote for your favorite. We'll leave a link in the description. And that's it. That's all we have for you this week. Hopefully, I'll be back next week with my full voice. As you can tell, this is not right here. Uh, but uh, I will see you in happy hour, hopefully later today, uh, unless I've gotten worse since we recorded this. And then I'll see you on Monday for live Q&A. We have three stories for you this week. DJI sues the department, the, the department, 